you got to make a film about a love motel. And it's all these stories just in a room. We have the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s. We wanted all the stories, right, to have an element of sex. For me, I've always had this great fascination with a one location shoot. When two people are in a room over a holiday with too much alcohol, things go astray. You heard how it happened. Everyone's uh, Singapore's a small island. A lot of them are very closely related to real life events. <laughs> The reason the stories ended up where they were is because they were absolutely representative of the time. Come on! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on! And to all lovers out there, keep it warm, keep it cosy. It's lovey dovey time right here on the airwaves. The room is a character. I, I realised that I had to create a soul for the room. I mean, there was a lot of research that went into this project, you know, like even watching old, you know, 50s Technicolor films or the films of the 40s, uh, the style of acting. You know, hotel rooms uh, have been done so many times. I mean, how do you make it stand out? <laughs> In the room really requires great performances because you've got four walls and uh, the characters have to come alive. Many of the actors flew in one, two days before, you know, so you only have a few hours with them and then off you go, we have to shoot. First, when I read it, it was very graphic. I think I was attracted to the idea of longing. This is a really daring movie, you know. I, I need to be naked most of the time. Because of the shorter rehearsal time, Eric gave the actors greater freedom to, to interpret how they see the character. What's <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want the entire film to be like a serious film. In this story, she's in the room teaching all the girls um, her tricks. To her, this stripper character still was determined to be classy. It's a little bit risque, but it's a lot of fun. She's a gem. Very friendly, she's really cool, I love her. How did you go about preparing for that riskiness? I take risks. <laughs> I have broken him. <laughs> I think everybody felt for this in the room project, and, and to see them work so hard, it's, it's moving, it's touching. There's something fascinating about one room and the stories that that room can tell, if it could speak. It challenges the audience. If you empathise with the characters, you will want certain things to succeed. But then the moral side of you will step in and go, maybe those things should never happen. So much pleasure and yet so much pain. <laughs> At the core of it all, be it love, be it sex, no matter what period you're in, be it longing, it's all about connection. Man, I feel so much for this room. It is the character.